Hi, I'm Zach, the founder and CEO of Warp. Agents create a lot of code that almost works. Best case, it all works perfectly. Worst case, you take down prod. Even with the best coding agents like Warp, engineers still need to steer agents in a tight feedback loop. Prompt, plan, review, edit, test, and repeat until your code is ready to ship. Let me show you how we support that workflow with Warp's newest coding features. When you open Warp, you're able to pick up work on an existing project or start a new one. Projects have warp.md files and code base context enabled. And if you already have an agents.md, claw.md, or cursor rules, Warp can use that as well. In this case, I'll continue a project where I'm adding support for opening files using the editor variable. This is a top user request. So to get up to speed, I asked the agent to explain what it's done so far. I scan all the agent-generated diffs in our new diff view, and I run terminal commands to build the project and see where it's at. Our auto detection, which we've recently improved, detects that these are commands, not agent prompts. Uh-oh, there's a crash. Uh, that happens. Now, having worked a lot on this code base, this is something I happen to know a bit better than the agent, and instruct the agent on how to make the fix. I reference the code from Warp's diff view. I provide more context by referencing specific files using the app menu. The agent iterates with me until we have a clear task list to execute. At that point, I set the agent running with the ability to make changes on its own with the model of my choice. I can control this behavior with an agent profile. While the agent is working, I notice in the diff view that there's a copy change I need to make. It's faster to open and edit the file directly in Warp, so I open the file in Warp's native file editor, change the copy, and recompile. You can also browse the new file tree in Warp, which also allows for creating new files and adding them as agent context. Hmm, another compiler error. Warp suggests a quick diff for me to fix it, and I accept. In the meantime, Warp's agent has completed my original change, and I recompile and test. It looks great. I ask Warp to remember how to debug these kinds of errors in the future by updating our warp.md. Finally, I execute a slash command to make a commit and open a PR. Warp is free to try. Join over 600,000 developers and download Warp today. And let me know how it goes. And cut. Okay, can I get off? Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Edit like that?